Morning folks, well here we are, day five, and another gorgeous day in paradise. Got up this morning, had some coffee, picked some blueberries, and then Andy cooked some delicious blueberry pancakes, which we had with avocado. That was lovely. Got everything packed away, and we're on our way. I did, uh, Chuck my line in the water a couple of times this morning before we left. Sadly, still haven't caught a fish. <laughs> Just a short little paddle to take us up to that first rapid and we'll see what that's like. Well, that was a good fun little rapid. Um, we lined Andy's boat down, it was, a, it was a bit fast that one. Andy wasn't too up for, for shooting that one understandably, so just, uh, just lined Andy's canoe down first. This is a tiny little lake here. Um, <laughs> it's probably, I don't know, 60 meters along. And then we've got another, another little bit of river by the, by the looks of it. Nah, too risky. <laughs> <laughs> too risky. <laughs> I might do this one. Yeah, yeah, I think you should. I'll film you. Bet you will. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your tree.
Well, we've just seen the first person for two days. <laughs> we met a, a Norwegian chap coming in the opposite direction. So he's heading his way upstream on a, on a pack raft. Just enjoying a, a nice little bit of flat water. We can paddle before our next, our next portage. That last one was pretty hard work. It was very rough. There was a path there, but it was tight and narrow. So we had to kind of turn the canoes on their side to get between trees and then you had to go over a, an old rocky riverbed just bouldery really difficult and you know you're you're kind of concentrating on where you're going and having to <laughs> hold the canoe and not lose grip of the canoe as well it's um it's tough work and of course you have to do it several times but that is that is the way it goes on a journey like this you know you can't you can't paddle it all. <laughs> you nearly sucked me down. <laughs> English, sorry. Are you, are you making Google Street View for uh, Famous Marco? For filming? Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Awesome, cool. Yeah, yeah, for, for YouTube. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good luck fishing. There is no way that either of us are getting down that rapid alive. <laughs> it's a beast. It is a beast. It's a lot of force of water going down there. So uh, we're going to have to portage again. Andy has, well, he's, he's had it after the last portage, to be honest. He needs to sit and rest. rest. It's, it's kind of half past two. We haven't had any lunch, so he's going to get some lunch organized while I take the first load down. And I'm just gonna ferry the, ferry the bags down. It's quite a ways, about a kilometer, I think. Maybe not quite that far, but pushing a kilometer. Long portage and it's really rocky and tight in places. And then the path kind of evens out and it goes down to a, to a lake at the bottom. Uh, and then uh, 
and then I can bring the boats down afterwards. Which will be fun. That portage was brutal. That was a lot of runs up and down. It was, I don't know how long it was. I think it was about a kilometer each way. Andy is absolutely spent. I think it's all of these tough days of paddling that, that headwind day on Rugen. And it's, uh, it's really starting to take its toll on Andy. He's, he's done in. I don't care who tells you portages are fun, they're not. They're lying. But I'll tell you what, as hard as it was, the views on the walk down were spectacular with that river. Absolutely delightful. that straight no that way 
Oh, whatever. It's pushing on for seven o'clock in the evening <laughs> and we're, um, yeah, we're not to where we wanted to get today, um, but we are exhausted. Today's been, today's been pretty tough going with all the long portaging. Oh. So I think we're just going to look out for a a spot to camp once we get onto the the first bit of the the lake that we're heading for. We were going to try and get to um, the other end of the. There's kind of two lakes, a smaller one and a bigger one. We we're going to get to the the kind of pinch point where the two meet. But I think we just need to um, find somewhere to to get set up. Oh, I can hear moving water again.
No idea what this meat is, but we're going to um, cut it up and add it to our dinner tonight. We're just having dehydrated meals, but they're a Norwegian dehydrated meal. I'll show you them in a minute. We just thought we'd beef it up <laughs> with some meat because the meal is actually vegetarian. There's no meat in it. You've got to have some meat in your dinner, haven't you, Andy? So this is what we're having for dinner. It's bala grit. I have no idea what that is. I should have checked before we came, but I do know it's vegetarian. This is um, one of Lars Monson's meals in his uh, dehydrated range. Um, and this was sent to me by KTAC. Um, thank you very much. Quite looking forward to trying this out, but we are going to put some meat in it. Cheers. I got a bit shooken up on the uh, ride down the river today. Mm. Oh, the meat's good. The meat is good. Um, it's kind of ricey and yeah. a hint of curry, a bit of zing. Mm. So the mystery meal is no longer a mystery, but the meat still is. <laughs> mm. Yeah, this is good. I didn't. Um, film you know setting up my my hammock or anything you've seen it in the past videos anyway we were just exhausted we just wanted to get set up as quickly as possible and um and get get some dinner on you know we were we were hungry it was half seven when we when we stopped just yeah just been such a full-on day just a bit i'd say one of the hardest days of my life yeah it's, <laughs> yeah it's just been physically draining you know, we've had um, not very much paddling today, actually. You know, short bits of paddling, but it's mostly just been portaging, carrying backwards and forwards, lining the canoes through the river, which involves getting in the river because they the canoe just snags up on on the shallows. So you're in there trying to free the canoe up, getting soaking wet. I slipped over and banged my leg earlier on on a rock in the river, got soaked. <laughs> As did I in the mud. Yeah. <laughs> So it's good to get here and um, and get changed, get some dry clothes on, dry socks, dry trousers, dry pants, and a lot. We're just hiking with canoes and barrels, really, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful scenery here. It's you know the surroundings are gorgeous, but I don't feel that we've been able to take much of it in today. No, it's not the time to appreciate it. Mm -mm. When you're on the river, you're concentrating, um, so you're focused on the water and you know not hitting rocks, and then the rest of the time you're just lugging heavy stuff around. But um, that's that's just part of it. <laughs> just gotta grit your teeth and get on with it, I guess. Hmm. I thought we'd better take another look at the map, as I meant to do this last night, um, but forgot. <laughs> so this is the campsite that we stayed at um, the night before last, when we were still on the Swedish uh, side of the border on Lake Rugen. And this is the Norwegian-Swedish border. So we crossed over that in the morning and came into the river system just here. So this is the start of the Fermansmarker National Park in Norway. Um, that's the first rapid, the one that we uh, portaged down. And then we came in here, we had a lunch along here somewhere. Um, this second rapid here we shot um, and then we made our way through and into here. And this is the uh, the big lake that we camped on last last night somewhere over here, Storundhorn. Um, we we're just, just over there underneath the A somewhere. Uh, this morning um, we came down and we ran that first little rapid there um, and we came into this smaller lake just here and then into another lake. Uh, we lined down this second rapid um, and then we dropped down um, from there where it says, uh, probably not pronouncing this correctly, Kloftabua, 
um, where there's a hut and there were some pack rafters that were staying at that hut and we could see their pack rafts leaning up against the tree outside and we think it might have been them that we saw fishing down at the bottom here and there were some Norwegian right. lads fishing right. um, so we paddled along there for a little bit and this is where that brutal portage was so Andy stopped at the top and got some lunch sorted out and I ferried the bags down um, and we carried one of the canoes down and then I went back and um, brought the second canoe down that was that was hard work I, I thought it was about a kilometre I think perhaps it's not quite quite that long but you know I had to do it five times <laughs> so you yeah, know yeah it was a, it was a lot of walking and, and rocky and, and tiring um, then came into into this lake here with some islands and things dotted about we'd hoped to make it to one of these two lakes here over a Roston or Nedra Roston I think they're pronounced but um, you know it was seven o'clock by the time we were um, sort of approaching this area here and then we hit some more rapids where we had to line the boats down and we were just shattered when we got to the bottom so we ended up just stopping down here somewhere and that's where we are now shattered and exhausted well folks I'm gonna hit the sack I'm absolutely knackered Andy's gone to bed I'm, go I'm gonna do the same um, we literally just uh, had our dinner um, had one beer with dinner and um, yeah we're both done in <laughs> um, I've just gathered all my bits and pieces together I'm gonna take it up with me and, and put them underneath my tarp because we'll forecast some rain um, I don't know when it's coming in or how bad it's going to be because um, we have no signal out here at all so I've not been able to check the, the weather forecast or anything um, so yeah it, it, it could come in overnight um, hopefully it won't amount to too much I've got waterproofs and he's got waterproof trousers but um, his raincoat got left behind on that first uh, that first campsite um, so if it if it rains I don't know what we're gonna do <laughs> he's gonna get wet yeah that is that is it. Rain thrown into the equation. Yeah, today's been a grueling day. Tomorrow should start better. We've got some uh, some lake paddling. Um, the, pa the the lake that we were, we were hoping to camp on tonight, which we'll do in the morning, and then another bigger lake after then, and then we're back into the river system again. But I have no idea, you know, what it's going to be like. Whether it'll be paddleable, whether it'll be more long portages. We'll just have to we'll just have to wait and see. But rain thrown into the mix is, is not the most helpful but you know weather is weather <laughs> good night folks i'll see you in the morning Oh, <sighs>